Hi, I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my Trim and Terrific Kitchen. Wow, do I have another rush hour recipe for you. Everybody loves lasagna, but it's usually so time consuming. Who has all that time and energy to put it together? Well, I might as well call this, it's chicken lasagna, but I really should just call it shortcut lasagna. Five ingredients and this recipe is so kid friendly, your kids are gonna start requesting it and it's one of those you won't mind. So when I say five ingredients, you're just gonna use your favorite marinara sauce, rotisserie chicken. Wasn't that the greatest invention ever, rotisserie chicken? In fact, this recipe is in Kitchen 101 and I devoted a whole chapter to rotisserie chicken. So, I get sideways. Okay, then we have mozzarella cheese, just shredded. Again, your rotisserie chicken, you wanna remove the skin and two jars of marinara sauce and ricotta cheese. And I use the part skim or the reduced fat. Can't tell a difference. And remember, all my recipes are trim and terrific. So the way we started, you put about a cup of your marinara sauce on the bottom. A lot of people say, why do you do that? That's to keep your lasagna from sticking and it sort of forms a base. So then we're gonna do our no boil noodles, which are wonderful because you don't have to boil them, which is such a time saver. And then this is our ricotta cheese. I use the part skim. I'm gonna do a layer of that. And sometimes they even add a layer of spinach here to give it a little more um, substance, but that's entirely up to you. Our rotisserie chicken that I've taken the skin off of. And we're gonna do half of that. And then your part skim, mozzarella cheese. Put that like that. And then we're gonna do our uh, no boil noodles and they're readily available in the store if you haven't used them. Okay, and I always sort of do this to make it fit on the sides. All right, so, so time saver. Now we're gonna do some sauce. Oops, we have some left in this. Remember, two jars of your favorite. Sometimes I buy the roasted garlic, sometimes I buy, um, you know, variations, and, and a lot of times I look for the heart smart, which is good too. So we're just having to layer this. You see all lasagna is is layering, but when you have convenience items for your ingredients, it makes it so simple. Another layer of your chicken, rotisserie chicken, and another layer of your mozzarella cheese. And I always save a little of the cheese for the top. And then our last layer of your no boil noodles. We'll do this, or your no bottle pasta. And again, remember, we don't want to waste any of it. Oh well, I have to clean the kitchen after. <laughs> All right, do that. And then we're going to do our sauce on the top. Now what's important when you use no boil noodles or pasta is you do have to have enough sauce and that's what cooks it and makes it good. All right, so we have, we've used two of our sauces. Now you wanna cover it with foil because that way the sauce cooks into the pasta and you bake it at 350 for about an hour and it comes out wonderful, you can throw it in the oven. Now, some other tips about lasagna is it freezes beautifully. A lot of times what I do is I take my lasagna, I cut it in different squares, wrap it in saran wrap, and put it in the freezer, and I pull it out for lunch or a last minute dinner. Um, makes me look like I've been good in the kitchen. Well again, this is called chicken lasagna. It's so quick, five ingredients using pretty much convenience items and rotisserie chicken, from Kitchen 101. So if you want this recipe, you can go to my website, hollyclegg.com, uh, get the recipe, get all my cookbooks, and I even have a special discount code for you. Hope you enjoy quick chicken lasagna, and I'll see you in the kitchen.